The soul of man is divided into three parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. Intelligence and passion are possessed by other animals, but reason by man alone. The complexities of the human soul are often explored. It is often thought that humans are the only creatures who possess the ability to reason, Weaver this is not necessarily the case. The soul of man is divided into three distinct parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. While other animals may share the same capacity for intelligence and passion, it is only the human species that has the unique gift of reason. This capacity for reason sets humans apart, allowing them to explore thought, make decisions, and understand complexities that are not available to other animals. Reason allows humans to see far beyond what can be seen with intelligence and passion alone, creating opportunities for exploration and development. Ultimately, the T is the reason that separates humans from other animals, establishing our unique place. Some text goes here as long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace. Some text goes here. As long as man persists in his ruthless destruction of other living beings, he will never experience true health or peace. It is the nature of man to exploit and subjugate those who are weaker than he is, but this behavior is the antithesis of what it means to be healthy and peaceful. Those who live in harmony with nature and all of its creatures have the potential to be healthy and peaceful, but those who continue to trample upon the weak and the vulnerable will never reach such a state. Man will never know true health or peace until he chooses to treat all living beings with respect and dignity. You should make great things, promising great things. It's not enough to simply promise greatness when it comes to creating something. Instead, you should be focused on actually achieving greatness through your work. Greatness doesn't come easily and it takes hard work dedication, and perseverance to make something truly great. When you make something great, you create something that will last, something that will be admired, and something that will be remembered. Making great things is not an easy task, but it is a task that is worth doing. Invest the time and effort into making something great, and you will be rewarded with the satisfaction of knowing that you put your best into something. Don't settle for simply promising greatness, but strive for actually achieving it. If you have a wounded heart, touch it as little as you would an injured eye? There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. If you have a wounded heart, treat it with the same care and caution that you would an injured eye? When we experience pain and suffering of the soul, it can be difficult to find the best course of action. How two fundamental remedies can aid in the healing process, hope and patience. Hope gives us the strength and courage to carry on, to look towards the future and to believe that we can find our way through our suffering. Patience, on the other hand, is a virtue that allows us to accept the present moment and surrender to the healing process. Both hope and patience have the power to help us heal, and we should not underestimate the importance of these two remedies for the soul.